This is a Chinese weight test for the Align metal grips for the T-Rex 500 uh, using KB Dream Design blades which behave very similarly to uh, carbon fiber blades as far as the Chinese weight forces go. One of the things that's uh, somewhat different on here is the um, blade bolt on this is very small and short, very small head. Uh, I predict that will aggravate the tennis racket forces we see and we should probably see some of the highest push rod forces we've seen. This uh, blade grip is basically a metal version of the plastic and as far as I can tell has as much slop as the plastic version does. I do have a uh, post showing the modification to that to make it adjustable for the amount of slop like a Kasama. And here's the total setup force gauge for measuring the actual pushrod forces and have the actual 500 mounted on the milling machine just to hold it still while we run it up. And um, we're going to fire it up and see what the pushrod forces are with the stock blade grips, stock align metal blade grips and the stock blade bolts. Okay, we're going to do the test now with the uh, T-Rex 500 with the Align metal blade grips on, stock blade bolts, and KB Dream Design blades. We're going to fire it up, see what the forces are. Okay, we could see that the tail rod forces were indeed uh, the highest I've ever seen on this uh, size helicopter. At the over 40, we um, on this helicopter I have a 5083 MG high tech uh, uh, tail servo. It only has 21 inch ounces of torque uh, max at 4.8 volts. So if I had a the, my ball at a half inch from the center of the servo wheel. Um, it would use every bit of the max torque to get to those two extremes. So now we're going to make some new Chinese bolt and nut combination to replace the stock uh, blade bolt in the aligned metal grips and we'll see what happens. This is going to measure the actual servo, tail servo current. I have a jumper in there with a current meter hooked up direct to the servo in uh, rate mode. I have the multimeter here measuring. I have it zeroed out in relative range so we're just reading the um, actual uh, change in current. That's idle current has been zeroed out. Uh, we're going to fire it up here and take a look and I'm going to take it up to full head speed and take the uh, servo to both extremes just so we can see what the um, actual forces are. This is a half inch uh, distance on the servo arm from the center of the servo wheel to the ball. So this has exactly 42 ounces of uh, available torque technically. So we'll see what the current draw is on this. Here we go. Okay, you can see there at the extremes we draw almost 0.8 amps. Uh, you have to realize that once the servo gets in position, it does not take as much torque to hold it there because of the gear train drag. So you have to actually watch that peak as it's going each direction. We were looking at 
uh, 0.8 amp and like 0.7 amp the other direction so significant current draw and we will do this again uh, when we put in the Chinese bolts but this was a test with the standard blade grip bolts for the aligned metal grips okay this is the Chinese bolt and nut that were custom uh, made for the aligned grip we can see the uh, nut on this side and obviously the bolt on the other this is the boom side and now we're going to go ahead and fire up same setup uh, looking at the force gauge and going through the range Okay, you can see there that the uh, actual force to move it from center was about five ounces, and actual the reason that uh, that's a little higher than normal is I'm starting to adjust the weights to be a little bit more towards uh, being neutral on returning. So uh, it took five ounces to push it out, but you notice when I took my hands away, the actual uh, blades would stay put, so there wasn't a whole lot of force trying to return them. Um, but I thought it's better to have a little bit of force constantly working against the servo in the direction it's pushing um, rather than have it totally neutral and have all the play in the uh, tail rotor system start to show up as a regular uh, tail rotor response. So that 5 ounces that you saw both directions is about the max but considering we were at 40 that's uh, a whole lot less and uh, that's it. So that's the comparison between the before and after with the weights, now we'll do the um, actual servo current uh, draw with the Chinese bolts in. Okay, we're going to do the servo current draw test now with the Chinese uh, nut and bolt combination in. So we'll fire it up and look at the uh, current. And it's uh, the idle current's been zeroed out in relative mode, so that's why we're at zero right now. see there that we had uh, less than a quarter amp uh, both directions um, driving the same thing so we've dramatically reduced the servo uh, tail servo current draw um, obviously because of the reduction in pushrod force <laughs> 